Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to the honorable judges, teachers, friends and all audience out there. My name is Adriana Zara Binti Muhammad Noidali and I'm 11 years old. I'm going to present a story entitled Bujang Senang. Once upon a time, when head hunting was still a practice in Sarawak, there was a strong and brave warrior named Simalungun. Simalungu was feared by his enemies because he killed and cut off many of his enemies' head. I am strong and brave. All of you can beat me. Besides that, he also has a body of steel. Due to this, his enemies wanted to know his weakness in order to defeat him. So, his enemies kidnapped Simalungu's beloved wife, hoping that they could get his weakness from her. Tell us his secret, or we will kill you. Tell us now. Please, please, please let me go. I will tell you his secret if you let me go. Don't kill me, please. But the enemies killed her while she was trying to run away. He was angry with his enemies and attacked them right away. But little did he know that his enemies luring him to the river. Look what have you done! How dare you kill my wife! I'm going to catch you right now! Simalungu's enemies knew that he would become weak when he fight in a river. However, Simalungu was too ready to care about anything. He just wanted to take revenge on those who killed his wife. Then, his enemies attacked him mercilessly as soon as he came in contact with the river. After a long fight, Simalungu was finally defeated when he was pierced by a spear. But, before he died, he vows to take revenge on those who killed his wife and tried to kill him. I will take revenge from my wife this. I swear on the heaven and earth that I will kill all of you one day, by hook or by crook. Simalungu and his wife body were left by the riverside. However, by magic, out of nowhere, both of them transformed into two big crocodiles. One of them is Puyang Senang. Since the appearance of Puyang Senang, many people were killed by the crocodile. In 1992, Puyang Senang was said to be killed, but the villagers still believe that Bujasana is still alive and waiting to take his revenge. The end. Thank you for the opportunity. Hopefully we can meet again in another competition. Thank you.